What happens as you start to go through this growth spurt in a market for a technology? As the technology is being introduced and once the bundle of functions and features begins to stabilize, then product innovation starts to drop off and process innovation will start to ramp up. We discussed this in the introductory material. What this tells us is that over time, price will become a more important buying criteria in all likelihood. Why? Because the technology and the products based on it are becoming more commodity-like as we ramp up production and we figure out how to cut the uh, time for production, steps out of it, make it more reliable. In other words, do it less expensively. Once we know what we're selling, it, then others come in and they copy us, they do similar kinds of things, and we're in a price buying situation. We may try and stave that off with brand name, uh, goodwill, things like that, little enhancements, adaptive innovations, incremental innovations. But basically, we're moving into a period of price-based buying. Price-based buying is typically what you see with the early and late majority. When you get to laggard, something different happens. You get availability-based buying. I'll give you a little story there. I had a friend when I lived out in Port Washington. His name was John Pryor. John's dad, uh, John used to tell me, was the last guy in America making punch card machines. I've talked about punch cards for computers earlier. He used to run the IBM punch card division, and at some point he realized that carrying the overhead of IBM was not going to make it easy to make a profit. So he went to IBM and said, let me buy out the punch card division. You guys are basically going to these new types of computers, these personal computers and uh, minis and mainframes that don't rely upon punch cards anymore. And I'll just run the punch card business until the business dies. He did very well. Why? Because if you have an old punch card machine and you desperately need it and you're not ready, you know, your programs are written to rely upon punch cards and it's horribly expensive to change thing, everything over, you'll pay a lot for a machine or a part to fix something when it breaks. Of course, over time, you know that business is going to die and at some point you just shut it down and get out. But until then, you're milking it. We tend not to look at availability-based buying in technology commercialization because you're not bringing new technology in, so there's no reason. In price-based buying, you do bring new technology in. As I said before, it's usually process technology or it's incremental product innovations and sometimes adaptive product innovations as people fight for market share around the margins. So we have now had a basic overview of the types of buying behavior and why people engage in those as technologies come to market, succeed in the marketplace, and uh, spread out and become more widely used. When we come back, we're going to talk very briefly about value proposition, a few other topics, and that will wrap up this part of our discussion. So I'll see you in a few minutes.